only three explanations for why things happen. I suggest to you that we are the first society in history that believe that things just happen for no reason. Our modern, highly advanced, technological society has left a huge, big gap, a whole big, like, sector for things that happen for no reason. If you think that things are random, then start living your life that way. And I suggest to you, you're not going to get through about five minutes, ten minutes of your life thinking that everything is random, that nothing you do matters at all. Okay? Why would you go to work? Why would you send your kids to school? Why would you go to the doctor when you're sick, you see? If nothing mattered. Okay, but that's one option of explaining how things, how things work. Why poo poo happens. No reason. There's no reason. But if you're going to believe that, believe it 100% of the time. Don't, don't pick and choose your randomness, okay? The second one is God did it. God is micromanaging the universe. And, uh, and, and no thinking theist believes this at all either. W why? No free will. If God is micromanaging the universe, then this, it comes kind of comes to the same thing as randomness. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nothing matters, you see. From, from the personal point of view, nothing matters. God's just pulling every string. God's making me do this, like, weird thing, right? And, and God may lead me to the bar later on tonight. It's just, it's all the will of God, you see. So that leaves number three. Why do things happen? Because they are caused. And not just sometimes, 100% of the time. So we, most of us have a fourth worldview, which is this kind of like, this kind of hybridization of the other three. So when it's convenient for me, I'll believe in randomness, like when bad things happen to me. Then it's, then it's always just so random. Or when good things happen to people I don't like. Then it's all of a sudden, oh, how could this have happened? I don't know. It's random, right? Or, or when it's convenient to like bring God into the picture, you know, usually it's at about 30,000 feet when the pilot comes on and says, you know, I've got bad news for you, the plane doesn't work anymore. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, dear God in heaven. Uh, you know, I know we haven't been in close touch lately, uh, but uh, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. And uh, I need you to micromanage my universe for me here for a couple of hours. You know, suspend the laws of gravity for me. And, uh, you know, and then I promise in the future we'll be much, much more better in touch. And then number three, you know, number three, we also adopt when it's convenient. Then it's like, cause like, like when good things happen to us, then all of a sudden we're big fans of karma. Or when bad things happen to people we don't like. Ah, oh, yeah, justice. Fine. Cause, effect, cause, effect. That's how things are really working. Things are really working according to karma. And not just sometimes, but 100% of the time. So you've got to kind of work that out for yourself. Which, which worldview do you, do you believe in?